Transgender men, I have seen your side of the entire political debate never ever having the conversation of, because that's the tactics you play in your game. I, I and mean, you've done it the entire time. I, you mean, jump from one subject to the next. You speak so fast and I know how you work. So how does it feel to have it in your face? What? Oh, well, okay. Plus I'll see you again later, dude. All right. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice hey, meet Cam. You. Hey, uh, appreciate you being here and, and having an open discussion. Yeah, you bet. It's fun. Let's say that just hypothetically, right? Baby's born. Mm -hmm. Baby, mama can't feed the baby. She's not breastfeeding. Baby dies. Morally, do you feel like that would be better than if the baby would have just been like before it was born? What? I mean, I'm, I'm not sure that there's any, I mean, I think that it's significantly worse to purposefully kill a, a child rather than accidentally or through circumstances kill it's a not, child. Not, not accidentally, right? She cannot. She didn't, she didn't purposefully she, kill the child. She, she can't afford it, right? I mean, she can't afford to have the baby. And so you're saying that Kamala Harris is extreme, but your stance is that women are being forced to have children even if they decide that for whatever reason, I don't care. Why, I don't care. Why, why but don't for you whatever care? Why reason, don't you care? Because you give me a very specific not example. Me. Because it's not. It is not between me. Rebbit. It is between that mom, her health, her relationship with whoever she believes in. It is not so on me. Here's sort of the problem. Mm -hmm. You're extrapolating from a very emotionally laden example sure. to everything, and I'm wondering how you're doing that. So you, you give me a case in which you have a woman who, for whatever reason, literally cannot feed her child. For some reason, adoption's not available. There are no food stamps. There's, there's literally nothing. She's in a desert by herself, and the baby's going to die. Is equivalent to a woman who decides to, you know, because she doesn't want the baby for economic reasons or because it's going to crimp her life, like whatever, you said you don't care about the reason at all. That's your, your words, not mine. So she's 15 weeks pregnant. She wants to kill it. That's the same. Why? You're asking me why it's the same. I'm asking you why, like, why isn't it the same? Why is a baby who can't, self -evidently the same, who not the can't same. be born say that if she doesn't want that, if she says that I can't, account, I can't economically afford this child, that's like somebody going and saying, I can't economically afford this car, and the car salesperson still taking them on a test drive. Oh, this is such a bad example. Holy moly, this is like the most false equivalency ever. You're talking about people yeeting somebody because it's inconvenient versus a baby dying because the mother can't produce breast milk and doesn't have access to formula. Like th these are not these are not the same things, and it is not a car. Like, what's the point if they've already told you that they are not going to be able to economically afford it unless, you, I think, I think unless you give them, unless you give them, like you said, okay, what about, well, there's how many people in foster care that aren't being adopted right now today? All right. Should we kill them say, or what? By the way, uh, just let the record show that Christians adopted twice the rate as non-Christians when it comes to the foster care system and adoption. I'm not saying we should kill them. I'm just saying that they, should we, should we wait at least until Would have been better all if they were those people? You tell me. No, you tell me. You're the one who if suggested there's people... no more, it's a matter of moral apathy. Whether... <laughs> this is the more compassionate position. So the more compassionate position is they should be dead. Nah, fam. Whether those kids were born or not, so, I don't think so. So if kids are in foster care and not being treated well, they're being abused. They're not being fed. Yeah, they should still be allowed to live. They're being, they're problem, being, yes. they're being locked. The, the, food, the food, the fridge is being locked, and they're told they yeah, can't go get it because there horrible. are people who are only in it because they're getting a check. You're saying that that is morally... Superior to killing them? Yes. yes. To, before they're born. Yes. So you're saying that torturing a human being who's born, like they're a, a real life no, human today. I'm not the one today. in favor of torture. You're the one in favor of unborn people if being you killed. Can't, if, you're, if the only way you survive is food and water, and you rely on someone else to provide that to you, and they're not providing it to you, what would you call that? I'm confused by I know you well, are no, because you, your I argument really, really, contradicts itself. No, it, it <laughs> really, really doesn't. I mean, the argument that you're making is that, is that a born child deprived of food and water never should have been born. No. I don't see why that follows. That's not my argument. My argument. Wow. That is brutal. <laughs> I, well, okay, we're going to take this chair. Look at that. Hey, Ben. Like a bro, my friend. All right. How's it going? Let's break open so, a So, uh, first a question, can okay. men get pregnant? Men cannot get pregnant. Okay, awesome. So, uh... I think he got him. Oh, got him. Got him. Definitionally. <laughs> Definitionally, okay. Uh, do men experience essay? Got it. What about the existence of trans men? What, what about the existence? Uh, do you mean women who believe that they are men? What are, what are we talking about here? Me, uh, women experiencing gender dysphoria? <laughs> he, ew, he's so like, guys, I got him. I got him. I got him now. I know this is going. This is a trans man. It's a woman. So my other question is, do you benefit from white supremacy in any way, shape, or form? What? So you... That made no sense. Oh, no, 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 no. What? I, I, in, in, 
I'm going to need more specifics on what you mean by what well, you're Here, saying. let me give it to you then. Sure, please. So I'm a transgender man. Okay. I've experienced SA. Okay. And rights affect me directly. So if he, th he thinks he's cooking. Like he th she, it, uh, they think they're cooking. I'm talking about the American dream that you live. So Why don't I have access to that? Because there's no legislation, what, in the history of America that legislates a man's body? So why does mine have to be legislated? I've got what? Where is this going? Where is this going? This is weird. Got a vagina. Um, I'm not interested in what your genitalia are. Clearly you are. <laughs> over I'm, everything I'm, you I'm, make, no, buddy. I'm, I'm sorry. I hate to say it to you, but I think you can read on my face that I radically am not. Have. I think you can read on my face that I radically am not. When we're talking about abortion... No, I don't. The, the, I mean, you can present it here, but in most of the content that you have, you attack my community constantly. And you don't even realize guys like me exist who actually share a lot of similarities to you and everything, because I'm a married man of 20 years. I'm, got I a wife. I recognize that you exist. I disagree right, with your claim so that you are a man. Right, and I didn't have access to that abortion care. Do you believe that I should have carried that, that child to term because I was sexually to, assaulted? I mean, the, so... No, I just... Okay, so when I told you guys earlier, like, the, the, the best argument is this essay argument, right? That's the best argument on the pro-choice community. The essay of a minor innocent sense. That's the best argument. He, but I said that's also the worst argument because that's the least likely argument. He took the worst, least likely argument and then stacked it with this, what if a guy who's really a, uh, what if a woman who's really a man gets essayed or should it be forced to carry that baby to term? Like he, he took this to a whole nother level of, Complete incoherence, as far, as far as I'm concerned. I just want to make sure that that's what you believe. Because as a transgender man, I have seen your side of the entire political debate never ever having the conversation of what an American freedom is. Because why am I not allowed to live my American freedom as a man? I'm, you know, I mean, you I, get your as, choice as a man, as a man you're, you're, to you're, live you're, and you're free you're and all really, that. You're really moving around terminology very wildly here. And, is it, and so are you, because that's the tactics you play in your game. I, I and mean, you've you, done it the entire time. I, you jump from one subject to the next. You speak so fast, and I know how you work. So how does it feel to have it in your face? <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, hmm. because I'm sick and tired of the shit that you have put against my community, especially <laughs> they're like, he's cooking. He's not cooking, guys. This is awful. This is like, I know if you got like radical leftist brain, you think he's cooking. But to any normal person, like to any person that's not chronically online and not in these spaces, th he sounds like an insane person. This is this is super duper cringe and out of touch and like radical. This is not, uh, this is like, it's not like he's scoring points here. Any person outside of this radical, crazy world thinks this dude is gone. Like he's, he's, this, he's not cooking. I promise you that you're not winning anybody over to your side with this argument. Black trans women, because you constantly dis disregard all of our needs and then use us politically as a pawn when we're 1% of the population. Why not focus on the economy itself? All of us are struggling and you want to focus on trans people. You want to focus on a black woman when this is clearly a glass cliff situation. America's falling apart and let's give it a woman right when it's all falling apart. And we'd had, what, 50 men run it and it looks like <laughs> Look at where we're at. Um, Truly, so, where, where do you think that we're heading? So, I mean, it's is so there a question? funny to watch you, like, going white for... supremacy just fall apart the way that it is and you ride so hard because guess what in other countries around the world women are not having children and why is it because bro in other countries around the world you're not allowed to exist in other car parts of the world they'll you like this is not what are you talking about this is the most liberated place you get to be yourself this is the most liberated place where you can exist and not be bothered, generally speaking. I'm sure there are some people that maybe if they find out about this, they'll tease you. They'll say something to mean to you. Maybe there's even escalations of force, hypothetically, even though most of the force within this T community is usually against each other. But generally speaking, you have it really good here. Of the patriarchy and all the violence. Oh that God! Men I told you guys the patriarchy. Didn't I tell you about the patriarchy? Didn't I tell you changing definitions of words? And perpetuate and all of this idea that abortion is somehow going to solve it all by forcing women to have abortion instead of focusing on the real problems that we're facing in our society. We're just going to completely ignore that and we're just going to go. You know what? The line item is: let's make women have babies so that we can continue this capitalistic society that we have. Why are we doing that? What? I mean, why? Because you want to push white supremacy and because you want to make your check? He's Jewish. Like the number one, that's why he's smiling. The number one people who are actually victims of hate crime in America is Jewish people. That's the hilarious part about this. 
It does great for you. Meanwhile, people like me have to live with the consequences of all of your rhetoric that you put on oh a daily basis. Gosh. And including my entire community and the intersectionalities of black women. Oh gosh, men he went straight to the intersectionality hierarchy. This is amazing. Experience SA, trans people, everyone that comes in. And I'm so sick of the idea that you can come in with this burrata, that you're this big guy that knows things because you can talk fast, you have statistics. But really, what does it really matter at the end of the day if you are harming the entire American? Well, this guy's been accused of rape. Trump, in like court documents, and you're backing the guy. Like you have children, how could you do that to your own? Don't you have a daughter? Like what is wrong with you, dude? This is this I've, is straight moral high grounding, and there's no question, there's no point. Never seen such a party just completely just like the American idea, of what we believe in as a country, is not what you're perpetuating. It's diversity. It's giving you tired, hungry, and poor. Uh, please, the Google phone please, you have in your pocket is because of all the diversity. Turn off his had. mic. He thinks he could. Pleasure to meet you. Ooh.